Not a War by Silurine, Chapter 5 Later, they were lying in bed, her head on his bare chest. It had been Magda's first time, and she knew she was going to remember it for all of her life. But now that the hormonal rush was over, she could stand back and think about it more calmly. She wasn't regretting, it was too late for that anyway, but she barely knew him at all. He noticed that she was silent. You okay, girly? He asked, caressing her hair. I don't know, she sighed. Come on, you can tell me, he encouraged. I'm afraid. Now that you had what you wanted, you'll let me down. Why do you think that? He asked, sitting up. He sat up too and looked at the floor. It's just something that Annalise said about you. What did she say? Well, she said since you're a soldier, you've probably met a lot of girls on a lot of worlds, and that you'll probably just use me, you know, to have sex. He frowned. He seemed to be expecting this. I'm not that kind of man, and I already told you I'm not playing. He kissed her gently, feeling his lips against hers. His hot breath against her skin made all her doubts vanish, at least momentarily. How can I prove she's wrong? He added. You don't need to, Magda said, a shy smile on her face. I trust you. Yes, she trusted that he wouldn't let her down while he was here, but in less than two months he'd go back on a spaceship and she'd never see him again. But she didn't want to think about that now. Good, he said, taking her into his arms and falling back onto the bed. Magda remained silent a while more, playing with his dog tags. The front side was engraved with the Aquila and the sentence, The Emperor Protects. The back was tagged with an identification number. APOS, which must be his blood type and his name. Jaden Balak, Magda read. Huh? Yeah, he sighed. Strange name, I know. Magda giggled. Actually, I was going to say it was pretty, but yeah, kind of strange too. He smiled. She totally fell for the smile. Why do you have two of them? She asked innocently, making him laugh. <laughs> I can't give one to you if that's the question. It's mandatory to wear two of them every time, everywhere. Sorry. Oh, okay, she said disappointed. But what's the use of them? Mostly to identify my body if I die on the battlefield. He marked a pause, amused at Magda's expression of horror. But they're also very precious to me. I'm more than just a number. It's my identity. I see. That made her wanting to have one even more. That way she could own a small part of it. A part that would never leave. You really need them both? <laughs> yeah, he laughed. Stop being childish. <laughs> You're mean, she giggled, her head falling back on his chest. She could hear his heart beating regularly. She stayed like that a little more, caressing his chest. He had lots of scars on his body, as befitted of an imperial guard. But the most impressive was a big, scary scar across the chest, from his left shoulder to his right side. It seemed old, but it would never disappear. She wanted to ask him about it, but not now. For the moment, she was feeling like she was in a dream. His arms were warm and comfortable. He was falling asleep, peacefully. Hey, we can't sleep. He shook her gently. We need to shower. I don't think it would be a good idea if we fall asleep and your father or Emily finds us like that. Oh yeah, that's true, she yelled suddenly, completely awake. Wait, you mean we shower together? Uh-huh, 
after what we did, it doesn't really make much difference, he said, brushing her cheek. Yeah, I guess, she blushed. Pollock burst out laughing. I love it when you blush under your freckles like that. You're so predictable. And you're so pretentious. She got up and rolled herself in a blanket. Come here, Mr. Imperial Guard, she added, throwing his clothes in the bed. Yes, ma'am, he obeyed, laughing. Thanks for watching the video. I would love to hear your thoughts on my work in the comment section. And if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like. I'm currently working on getting the series and all of the future series a week ahead on Patreon. Links will be in the description if you're interested in that. Alright, that's all I have for today. Enjoy your sleep, and good night.